everyone and welcome to our channel. My name is Margarita and this is Angelica and we're going to be doing a bookish box opening today. I just stabbed myself. It's okay. I'm not bleeding. All right. So the box that we're going to be opening is a box that I've never ordered before. Um, so it's bookish box. Um, so this is I believe the YA uh, bookish box so it will have a young adult fiction book with some bookish items um, so I've actually been waiting for this box for quite a while now um, it is the June bookish box um, as obvious. far yeah <laughs> as far as experiences go um, I was kind of upset the way that it kind of ended up because I started to see bookish box unboxings for June a while back on YouTube and I had emailed them asking you know how come I hadn't received my bookish box yet for June um, they had said something was wrong with their ordering system that for some reason um, my order and a couple other people's orders had gotten pushed out of the system or pushed to the back and they were never fulfilled um, and so they had told me that they were going to send it right away. I had gotten an email with a tracking number within a week or so of that email response, but nothing ever happened with the tracking. And I emailed them again um, after waiting about two weeks for the box to come and nothing ever happened. Um, they had said um, that they were looking into it and to not worry that I'd be getting my box. About a month later, there was an email sent out to everyone saying, you know, that because of all the slowdowns with mail, uh, that to wait another eight to 12 business days after the tracking had populated and that we should be getting our boxes within three to four weeks. Well, come the end of June, or not June, but the end of July, I still had not gotten my box. Um, I had emailed them again, and then they had said that they responded to everyone um, and just sent me like a general email. And so there was an email saying that they had to reorder everything for the month of June. So we were waiting for them to get supplies and um, that they would send out the boxes as soon as they got the materials. Um, so that's kind of why I didn't end up getting my June box until August. Um, so overall for experiences, it wasn't so great. Like I said, it was a lot of waiting around and waiting for responses and then just being, uh, given like a general reply that kind of replied to all. So needless to say, I mean, I had already ordered July's box, um, and not anticipating like all the, the shipping delays and everything and, I had kind of the same experience with July. I still don't have July's box, I guess. Um, I mean, they did respond about July's box to everyone, letting everyone know that because they were personalizing the books that um, they had to send them out in smaller batches because they were waiting for um, the customizations to be done on the books. Um, so um, I probably won't be getting my July box till either the end of August or the first week or so of September. Maybe October if it takes two months yet. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I I like what they, like what I've seen in the unboxings, um, but I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I hope that I like everything that came in the June box. So we're going to go ahead and get that started. Um, with that being said, of course, we are not sponsored. We do purchase our boxes with our own money. So all thoughts and opinions, of course, do belong to ourselves. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, a sneak peek. All right. the card. Let me just... So the theme for July uh, was A Court of Seasons. 
there's the book. That's the first thing. Well, why did you give me the book? Because it was the first thing on top. Okay. So, hold on. Let me open this up then. I, I was going. I think I opened it upside right down. I'm like, I don't know the fuck is this is a box. No instructions on which direction it should be open. Okay, so here is the book. Um, so it looks like they have their own personalized cover. And it is Seasons of the Storm. So, <laughs> this will be the third copy of this book that I have received. Um, so, needless to say, <laughs> I probably won't be keeping it. So, it did come with a signed book plate. So, yeah, I mean, this book um, is supposed to be about people who are the seasons. Um, so, they have to kill one another in order to bring the new season in. Um, I believe fall and falls winter. in love with winter. Um, so it kind of creates a dilemma because one doesn't want to kill the other in order to bring the season. Um, I haven't read it yet, but it does sound like an interesting read. But again, I probably won't be keeping this book. Um, I'll probably be giving it away to someone or donating it. Um, but it is a nice cover. Alright, so one thing at a time, my dear. <laughs> Um, it looks like these are tarot cards, so I have no idea who this is. It's a Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Oh wait, I believe this is from Akatar, so maybe this is Tamlin? What's on the back? And then, well, it's just... The little bookish box insignia. Oh. And then the Two of Cups. I think that's Ryzen. Um, I don't know who that is. I haven't read it yet. Let me see if it says. So Lucian, Tamlin, and Ryzen. So I was right about two of them, but I don't know. I know this is Ryzen, but... Maybe this is Lucian and this is Tamlin. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> bookmark. Ooh, okay. So it's a cute little bookmark with like a fox on it. Angle it down. Will it not? Usually it works better. It's a really cute light pink. It's a very, very light. It's probably hard It's to a do delicate here. design. Yeah. yeah. Computer. All right, and here Camera. is the piece of art there. Beautiful, beautiful. So, that's really nice. I think this might be a shirt. Yeah. I like the color. The dusty rose. Yeah. It says, the stars who listen... And the dreams that are answered. Let's see if it needs to be closer. Very cold, but there we go. Ooh, that's really pretty. Let me see. I'm assuming this is And of glass. course, that's from A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Bass. So that's really pretty. I actually needed a t-shirt to go with a new pair of shorts that I have that has like these cute little pink roses. So that actually... Is going on vacation with us? Maybe going on vacation, yes. A very unnecessarily packaged cup. I'm serious. Hey, it didn't end up broken. A lot of people ended up getting theirs broken. So that's good. But it's like four layers of over that. Ooh, but it's shiny. I don't know Ooh. if it's going to show up. It's, um... So it's got like a, an opalescent coating on it. So it's a Valaris City of Starlight. So there are the stars and the mountains. 
so I believe that's for the night court. Can't believe it's not backwards. Oh, that is gorgeous. I do like I, I like it with the candle. Ooh, a candle. I can even smell it. <laughs> can you? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I thought. It smells like a. Uh, Ooh, that smells it yummy. It smells like the kid shampoo, the watermelon one. It does not smell like watermelon. It's high tide. Aloe and adventure. Yeah, but that's what the kids shampoo it says. Like. Summer court. So, ooh. Okay, there is a lot of light. Just bend it down. to. There we go. Just bend it down, mother. What I mean. Don't. And it's got a nice wooden wick. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell good. But I'm just saying, that's what it reminds me of. This is a tiny necklace. Tiny necklace. Whoa, why did you take it out? Okay, this is really pretty. It's like a rose gold, and it's got like this cute little rose on it. It's absolutely precious. I love this. And I wear a lot of rose gold jewelry, so that will definitely match my other jewelry. And then we have a exclusive pin so the pin it's designed by Justin Pages so it says cauldron blessed so there we go and it looks like we got another thing in there is it the last thing exclusive Yes, it's an exclusive tapestry. Tapestry. <laughs> tapestry. An exclusive tapestry. Okay. Yes, that thing. Actually, I'm just leave it there. It's fine. It's fine. Um, you're holding it the wrong way. It's upside down. <laughs> It is a map. I am. Here we go. Oh, let's just here. Just gonna go up, and then we'll be back. That is really pretty. So these books are all on my TBR. I kind of started reading it, then I got sidetracked with the. Uh, a book that I had to read for my book club for the month so definitely plan on getting back into it the books it's just there are so many that I know it's gonna take me a while <laughs> but my son assures me it is like the best it's his favorite so he has all of them <laughs> yeah so I can't wait to dive in overall um, I have to say my favorite I think it would be the t-shirt. What's your favorite? I don't know. It's between the cup and the candle. Because I actually do like that candle, which is something tricky for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to go over everything here and make sure that we didn't miss anything. So we have the necklace. Um, so that was curated by the Bookish Shop. Um, so it's a pressed flower pendant full of spring court vibes. The tapestry um, and the reeds created it. Um, it's the Prithian map tapestry um, to adorn your walls. The bookmark was designed by Alchemy and in Ink, um, and it was inspired by Elaine and Lucian. Uh, the monthly shirt, it was a quote from Akatar, um, created by Bookish Box. Um, the book of the month uh, was Seasons of the Storm by El Casamano. Um, so it did come with the signed book plate and the exclusive dust jacket was created by Katja Perez. Uh, the candle, summer court inspired woodwick candle, um, that was created by the Book of Shop. The tarot cards were designed by Dark and Beautiful Art. So they feature Lucian, Tamlin, and Ryson. Uh, the enamel pin that was designed by Dustin Pages, um, it was inspired by the Winter Court and Winter Solstice. 
the iridescent mug um, it features the night court doesn't say who did the art on it um, but the art print um, was created by Diana D. Warak. So of course I'll put all the links below in the description. Um, other than that, it has the photo prompts for the month on the card, which obviously I won't get to because um, months ago. Yeah, it was back in July, so of course I missed it. Um, I'm of course going to take pictures anyways and put it on my bookstagram, but um, they do have a playlist. So to the stars who listen, so they have a Spotify. So if you would like to take a look at that, I'll go ahead and put that up close for you. But other than that, um, overall, I have to say, even though it took a long time to get here, I did enjoy my bookish box experience. So that may be something that I'll try again. We'll definitely see what our July box brings us <laughs> when we get that. Um, so, I mean, I can't wait. Because I did like this box. It was a nice strong box. Um, let me know in the comments below if you had any issues with your bookish box. If you subscribe or purchase um, anything from them. Um, and tell me what your favorite items were. Uh, we do have other videos on our channel. We'd love it if you check them out and um, maybe subscribe. Um, otherwise, we'll see you in our next bookish unboxing. You have a great day. Bye.